Hi everybody, it's Nika. I have a quick project I'd like to share with you before I mail it off. Um, I'm sorry ahead of time if I sound funky or if I start sniffling. I am yet again fighting another cold. <laughs> so um, this project, and here, I'll show you right here. Um, this was for an embellishment swap over on myscraproom.ning.com and it is hosted by the lovely Dorothy Jewel. Hi Dorothy, thank you for hosting this fun swap. I had so much fun um, doing this. It is called the Metal and Ice Swap and I'll, I'll show you in a moment why it's called Metal and Ice um, but it's basically for an embellishment swap. So we had a few things we needed to do. Um, we have some items um, because it's um, an embellishment swap that we are swapping with our partners. We're putting in a group of um, three people and um, this month only three of us signed up. I, I don't know why it was so fun to do this swap. But um, the other people in the group are um, Charmaine and Colleen and I personalize their bags. And um, for the, the first thing that we needed to have was a really nice bag to put all of our embellishments in. Um, all of our goodies. So this is what I used. It could be fabric or paper or anything like that. I chose to use just a small plain paper bag and I used the Madeline um, collection from Prima for my paper. Um, I just matted it on top. I added some box pleated trim um, in brown satin and then I used this really really cute um, it's a gorgeous color. It's like a aqua kind of a color really nice and it really um, brings out the bluish green tones in the paper line um, I used one of my Cuddlebug um, alpha dies to die cut the names that are the letters and then to spell out the names so that the bags are personalized there's just a little chipboard flourish in the back here and then I layered on some I am roses flowers and added some pearls same thing here, just some more I am roses and um, a blue acrylic pearl. And in the middle, I just have a Martha Stewart butterfly punch, and then um, it has a trail of pearls on both of them. So that's what I did for the bag. And um, I didn't decorate the sides or the back. Um, as you can see, I did add a flap, which is held down by Velcro. And this is out of some um, Coordinations Gemstones paper, which is on sale at Joann's. I'm not sure if it's still on sale, but I got them last week, and they're only like 30 cents a sheet. So I stocked up on them because they're so... I really love the shimmer that it adds to a project. Um, recently, for my Coffee Sleep mini albums, I started using the Basil Blings, and the Coordination Gemstones are just like... just as shimmery. So... That's what I used for that. So this is, um, oh, that's right. I, I kept it plain so that they can fold it flat if they want to and store it. Um, it's up to them how they'd like to use it. So on the inside, when you open it up, are the goodies. So we were supposed to include um, one nice bag for our partners, two altered bottle caps, then three pieces of ice, which are just um, like bobbles or crystals that um, that the ladies could use for stick pins or charms or anything like that. And then also um, four pieces of metal. I have a bit more um, than the three pieces of ice and the four pieces of metal, and I'll show you that in a minute what I included. But this is how um, I packaged them. First are the bottle caps, and I made two sets of this. And um, I just I just used um, some of the basil blings to create like a box with a window so that you can see the goodies inside. And these are what I altered. I used um, the Madeline collection again, and then I covered it with um, glossy accents so that it's sealed in there, and it's nice and sparkly. And then I added some glitter just to make it even more sparkly. And then I also um, I also added some charms on the bottom. And this whole piece comes out because the bottle caps are glued onto this um, chipboard piece. In the back it has the 
what they are handmade by me for the metal and ice embellishment swap so that's what I have for that and it's all packaged so nicely <laughs> I added flowers um, this is a Prima flower that I got um, from my 14 days of Valentine swap this was given to us by Celie so pretty she had she had um a lot I got a, oh, quite a few because I had two slots and then she also sent me some for her hostess gift so pretty I'm sort of hoarding them <laughs> but I thought I'd, I'd use them here it's a nice alternative um, than what I usually use um, I usually use like the the hip bud roses or the closed roses for um, my sprays but I thought I'd use these because these are so pretty and it looked it matched the line pretty nicely so these are my altered bottle caps for Charmaine and Colleen. Um, so we were supposed to put three pieces of ice and I just also put a charm here. I just made like a little charm dangle and it's um, it's not glued down, it just has a jump ring that is tied um, with the bow and it says ice here. And this is what I included for the ice. Instead of just three pieces, I included three different types of crystals. There's these huge um, ball crystals, which are really pretty. They're really nice and faceted. I really like them. So I have three of those. I have two of these um, brown crystal looking things that I had gotten at Michael's during their clearance sale a couple of weeks back. These are really pretty. And then I have two um, clear faceted crystals, kind of like the brown ones, but they're clear. So, and they're already on jump rings for this. So that's what I included for the ice. And I really hope they can use these and that they like it because I really like it. <laughs> I haven't used them yet, but I plan to. And then this is the metal. And um, again, I have another charm. And this one, um, this one I kind of used this, this little bead piece here to represent the ice for the ice bag. And then this is what I chose to represent the metal for the metal bag. So I um, thought it was pretty cute. So I, I packaged it the same way as the ice. And on the inside, this is what I have. I mounted um, all of these um, metal pieces onto some chipboard so that it wouldn't just go all over the place. I didn't want it to get ruined. And I want it to look nice for presentation purposes. So I included... Um, a whole package of these making memories charmed words and it has it's just char um metal pieces with really cute words on them um these filigree corner pieces there's actually four what i did was that i doubled i doubled them up here and then just stuck them in the corners i didn't it wouldn't fit <laughs> putting all four in each corner there's also this filigree center piece this is really cute um, I have some of the flower centers that I also got. Well, they're not flower centers. They're um, they're just jewelry pieces, but I wanted to use them as flower centers. Um, but this I also got from the Michaels um, clearance sale. And then two blank frame charm things. So they could put a picture in here and then glossy accent it, or you could put a cameo in there and use it, um, again, as an accent on a page or a mini album or a card or anything like that. So I have, um, the instead of four pieces of metal, I chose four different types. So I um, have the filigree, I have the rhinestone jewel things, I have the frames, and then I have the charmed words for my four pieces of metal. So anyways, that is my project. They'll all be, again, packaged really nicely in these really cute bags. I really, really like these. I might make one for myself because <laughs> they're so pretty. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, Charmaine, Colleen, I really hope that you like the bags and the goodies that I'm sending. And I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.